Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on, guys, because it is Sunday, and I'm making dinner. Now, what's for dinner tonight is, oh, listen, I had no plans today. We had to do some stuff in the morning, came home, then Billy's like, at 2.30, he's like, what are we having for dinner? I'm like, I don't know, I have no clue. <laughs> so I had chicken thighs in the, liver, in, the kit, in the refrigerator downstairs. So I'm making something in the Instapot, because the Instapot is quicker. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm sauteing um, the chicken thighs with garlic and all, all my seasonings that I use, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and Italian seasoning, basil, and all that. And I'm, season, and I'm um, sauteing them in there so they get a little brown. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put some, I'm not sure what kind, I think ziti, if not, I'm trying to think if I'm going to use spaghetti or if I'm going to use um ziti but i'm going to use one of those pastas and i'm going to put the alfredo sauce in it so it's going to be like a chicken alfredo pasta kind of alfredo chicken i don't know just i just feel like throwing something in i don't really know what i'm doing honestly <laughs> i'm just kind of winging it because i really don't have any plans what are you doing over there laughing. my daughter over there is laughing at me um i didn't really hi, have any plans guys. so jenny says hi so I just feel like throwing something together. And I thought I had two of these jars, but I can only find one. I'm gonna look and see. If not, then I'll add some regular cream to it and make my own little Alfredo too with it. But anyway, let me show you what I'm doing. Let me show you what's going on over here. So, oops, it's fogging up. That's what's going on there. So I, um, I seasoned it already. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm going to give it a mix here. I'm sure I need a spoon. I want to get a little color on it, which most of it is coloring. Getting, you know, a color on it. Um, so yeah, let me, I, I'm trying to think, I, 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 Maybe put onion, um, mushrooms in it, but my son doesn't like mushrooms. Um, and neither does Jenny. So, um, trying to think what else am I gonna, what else can I put in it? Oh, mommy, you can put little spinach in it. I might do that. I have, I have a bag of, um, spinach. I might put spinach in there. Okay, hey, it was spinach, my idea. Spinach, like Alfredo chicken. Mm. I don't use my Instapot often, once in a while, and I, I don't know, I just, I'm always nervous that I'm not going to know how to, like, time it and all that, and then when it releases, it scares me a little bit. Uh, I'm not intimidated by it, like, I'm, I, you know, I'm not afraid to use it, but I don't use, I don't use it often, I, I should use it more than, um, than I should, don't mind my hair today, guys, my hair is just all over the place today. You look but, pretty, Mom. Oh, thank you, Jenny always thinks I look pretty. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Almost. Tell them I went yesterday. She went on a trip yesterday. She had a very good time. You you saw them yesterday, Knucklehead, when you came oh, home, yeah, remember? She forgot. She forgot. I, I'm sorry. All right, so I let me you. um go see if I have another can of Alfredo. If not, I'll use cream. I'll be. All right, guys. So guess what I did? I put. I had a half a bag of fresh broccoli that I forgot I even had in the refrigerator, so I dumped that in there with it. You're gonna make it more more hearty, um, hearty more hearty, oh. and I put that in there, mixing it up, and I seasoned it all again. Um, I'll show you. All right, so I'm gonna let this saute a couple minutes, and then I'm going to um, put the sauce in it. I have the two. I I did have another um, creamy Alfredo sauce, so I'm very excited about that. Um very excited about that and then I'm going to add the pasta which is going to make it good I'm just trying to think if I should put spaghetti or if I should put the I think I'm going to put the I think I'm going to put the um the penne ziti I think I have penne in the back let me go look all right guys so um that's almost done I wanted to just to saute it a little bit to get the broccoli and the chicken you know sauteed in the garlic and stuff in like a couple of minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these. I'm going to put these in. I'm going to put some of this in, some Parmesan. And then I'm going to put 
pasta, the pasta in. I decided to do um, half a pound of this, of the penne, and a half a pound of the rotini. So, I don't know. Yeah. Mom, I know what else you can put in it. What? Blue cheese chunks. Oh, I'm not putting blue cheese in here. And um, then I'll have to see how much liquid is in it because the pasta needs liquid to cook in. So I'll add the sauces. I might have to add a little bit of water. Well, we'll see what happens, um, how it looks or whatever. But the pasta needs something to cook in. So, and see now I really am not sure how to, um, how to time this. Um, do I do poultry? Do I do beans and chili? Like, do I do chili because it's more of like a... Beans and chili, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? It's more like... I, oh, maybe I should do like a stew. Nope. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, well, we're going to be winging it, guys. We're going to wing it. All right. So let's... over here. Open this up. You know, I never have really, I never really buy these um, Alfredo's uh, sauces. I always make my own Alfredo fettuccine sauce or whatever for, for Jen. She, I always, you know, you guys know she always eats that. Hello. But, um, but the thing is, is that, let me just set you up, is that they're really good like to throw them in for a recipe like a quick recipe or just add to, you know, add to a meal or a dish or something. So um, that's why I, I, I keep them in the house now. And so I'm really glad because this is what I wanted them for. was when I decided on the whim, on a whim, to make something different. So. And just move the... All right. Okay, that's really nice and sauteed good now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sauce. the sauce. For you, a parakeet? I'm hoping you to not forget. Thanks, honey. That's what I'm trying to help you. So what I'm going to do, guys, is make a mess like usual. Get all this out. Then I'm going to add water to the, to the jar and get the rest out with that because I need liquid anyway. So that's perfect. Here and I'm going to add some water to this one and to this one. Like half a jar each of water. Um, all right, I'm going to stop the saute feature now because I want to put it on the other. But first, I'm going to give this a good shimmy shake. Shimmy shake. Shimmy shake. Shake, 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 shake Make sure the jar is closed, guys. What is that? You know what is that? Okay, that would be a big mess. That's All right, it. so. Got the rest of the liquid out of that one. What is so funny? <laughs> She's so silly. I was singing a song. Uh, All right, so now this has a nice amount of liquid in here. So this is what the pasta is going to cook um, in. Okay, so let's, let me show you guys what it looks like. 
see? So now I'm going to put the pasta in there. So a half a pound of the penne, and then a half a pound. Woo. Give it a good mix. And I've heard from other people that you need to make sure the pasta is covered in order for the pasta to cook in the liquid. So I'm going to add, I have some heavy cream. I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy cream in here. So this way it's just covering because it's just about up there, but I wanna make sure it's a little bit over the, over the top. So I don't wanna add more water because I want it to still have flavor. So, Water might dilute it. Where's the heavy cream? Don't ask me. Cream. Oh, cream. Here it is. Oops, so I'm going to add some heavy cream just so I can cover the pasta. It's not coming out because I didn't open it. Because you Hello. Now guys, this is not a diet meal, obviously. All right, and I'm gonna add a little piece of butter. Butter, butter, butter. What are you doing, buddy? You wanna see your mommy? Two tablespoons of butter. There we go. All right, guys. There we go. All right, I'm gonna figure out how, how much how much time to put this on for, and I'll show you it in a minute. All right, guys. I'm actually very excited because um, this looks really, really good. I put it on. I put it on for poultry. I'm gonna let that cook. That's gonna do about 15 minutes and then about 10 minutes release on the, um, on the you know, pressure thing. So we'll see, hopefully nothing will be overcooked and everything will be done, I hope so, because I'm really doing this at the, at the seat of my pants because um, I'm not sure about the timing on it and stuff. So just kind of um, guessing. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll all come out good. Hey guys, you can see I hope it'll. I hope yeah. it'll be good, we'll see. So we'll see when, it, when it's done. But I'm excited. I'm waiting to hear the um, the pot start making a little noise and it's not doing anything yet, but we'll see. Here's the lazy puppy, guys, on a Sunday. Lounging on the chair. Cooper. <laughs> He's a lazy butt. All right, guys, so it was on. It started at 15. It's at nine minutes now. So, um... I just hope that I said it right. We'll see. I hope everything. I don't. I don't mind if it's not done because I could always put it on manually for a couple more minutes. But I just hope I didn't overcook anything, like the pastas or anything. So we will see. Let's see what happens. As of right now, Jenny wants salad, so I'm gonna make her a little salad. I had um, spinach salad for lunch, so I'm not having salad. So I'm just gonna make her a little salad. Hi, everybody again. So, and if the other, the others want salad, they can make it. I'm just going to make one helping for her. So I have romaine lettuce here. Got to put this in as a block, otherwise you know how lettuce is. And then um, I'll let it release after it's done. I think it takes like three or four minutes. And we'll see. Okay, 
Jennifer. And so yeah. really my other kids too. Yeah, Jennifer the most though is a is the big salad eater. When she was younger, she used to take salad like for um, her program. I would send her to school. I would send her um, containers of salad. She just loves salad. So, do you want cucumber or just you just want cheese in it? For me? Yeah. I want cucumber. No, 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 no cucumber. No cucumber. No cucumber. Oh, you want the cranberry? Cheese and cranberries and that's it. Okay, I gotta see if I have cranberries left. I think I do. Oh, please I think I do. <laughs> Jen, you're going to have it. So guys, gotta get more of this tomorrow. It's the last of it. We love this. Love so, so good. So then we'll just put some shredded cheese on it. You have yellow cheese? Mm -hmm. I like yellow Guys, so it's done now. I just released the, the steam, so I'm waiting for that to be done, and then we're gonna check it out. I can't wait to see what the story is. All right, guys, it's done. Now, the broccoli <laughs> all broke up. The broccoli definitely probably could have been cooked less. But everything else, guys, I don't, I don't know yet. I'm going to taste it. The chicken I had in big, in big pieces, and they all broke up, so which is perfect because that's really what I wanted it to do. Okay, so let's see. Mmm. Oh, my God. It's so good. Guys, look at that. The chicken is tender. The pasta is cooked perfectly. It's not even overcooked. Just perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this. I didn't put it in before because I didn't want it to really, you know, cook that, that much. So I'm going to put this, this shredded cheese in at the end. I mix it up of the parm. Guys, so good. I'm telling you, my family always says it, the best meals are the ones that I just put together quickly. I love how the chicken broke up. It's perfect. Oh, wow. I hope my family is going to love it. I think they will. I'm just putting a little more pepper in it. Gonna give it another little mix. Guys, I'm so excited. It turned out so good. I'm going to taste it again. Look. So, so good. I'm going to write this down in my head. And I'm going to write it down. I'm trying to set, put the... Um, the um, recipe in with the video. Um, what is flurrying out? Flurry? Oh my God, it's flurrying. What's flurrying? March is crazy. It really is. March is a crazy month. It's it, it was it's freezing cold today. It was like 35 degrees. Tomorrow it's going to be in the 20s, they said, in the morning. Up in up here in upstate New York. Yeah, what about the crazy. It is crazy. March, March is scary. And don't ever have a wedding in March because you could be in a snowstorm. <laughs> Mm. Five stars, guys. A 
five stars. Okay. I'm going to make my plate. I'll be back. All right, guys. So here it is. Now, the only thing that I'm going to say, okay? Okay, guys, it came out delicious. It's very, very good. But I definitely, next time, we won't cook it as long. I think I cooked, it cooked about 15 minutes, then released for like three, two or three. So I think next time I'll, I'll cook it for like 12 Maybe 11, 12 minutes, and then, um, yeah, because it's it's really very good, but the broccoli all broke up, and the pasta is not overcooked, but it's just, it kind of is all like, you know, it's not like it, 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 in its own form, you know what I mean? So it kind of, maybe everything kind of like disappeared a little bit, but it's delicious, it really is. So next time, I just know I'll cook it less. So guys, pretty good for just throwing it together gonna be a good meal for Sunday and this is what we're having for dinner so I'm gonna call it let's see we'll call it Alfredo no Alfredo um, pasta surprise I guess maybe. that's it guys surprise? yeah oh, God, so this is surprise. this is what's for dinner tonight I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe don't forget to hit all the buttons on the bottom the thumbs up um, if you like this video and the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. Upload. And, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Hope you like it. Try it. It's so good. Bye.